All right, everyone, what's up? We're going to go through the combo. Now, I'm going to explain. You're going to be required to have any of these two, not necessarily these two, because this can actually take Bunbuku's spot and do the combo flawlessly. Now, this is actually a three card combo, but not really. What I mean by that is that to get the maximum value, you'll be required to have Wakashu or one of the three searches for it. So technically six copies of this and you play three Yata along with three Bunbuku. So six copies of this as well. And even if you didn't draw Bunbuku, you play with three of this. So you're essentially playing like nine ways to go off right there. Unfortunately, there is no search spells that can just add a Magic Specto or add this or add this. So you have to hard draw them. There is no search spells. Now, you don't particularly need this, but you just need a high scale to work with. I'm not actually going to use the scale effect or anything like that. So this is the lineup and I'm going to start. Now, pro tip, always use your Wakashu first because I don't actually need this to do the combo. I can do a full eight negate board with it, without it. However, what I need to know is if my opponent is going to ash the Benke. So the first thing you're going to do Activate Wakashu and then use this effect. Activate Benke and now you're going to use Benke's effect to add Soul Horn. Soul Horns doesn't actually care if there's a spell card in the grave, it can still equip. So the moment this goes through, you can do everything else. Any spells or anything, you can go ahead. Alright, so it doesn't require for a spell to be engraved to equip, it doesn't require for a spell to be engraved to unequip. So you can even do that now. Effect, equip. Cool. We got that done. So you're in a magnificent position already. Then you're going to normal summon the Bunbuko and use its effect to add. What I'm going to add is the extender. Where is it? Porcupine. Oh, I already took it up. Um, the reason why I did the combo this way, why you always do this first, is because I need to know if I'm going to be synchro, synchro summon with it and put it back in scale. Because I found this, the level three, I won't be putting it back in scale. That's why I need a next high scale. Everybody got that down, we're cool. All right, so because I have it, I'm going to scale this. Normally I would wait to see what my opponent does. So the first one, we're going to synchro summon and get our Deng Long. We'll use Deng Long's effect I'm going to add a copy of this. You will never put this in scale because it stops you from pendulum summoning. You're not going to use Deng Long's effect to send from deck to change its level either because this is the perfect level already. That was the whole point of you playing the level threes. However, if you're brave enough, you can always play a level four wear monster and send and you'd also have a level four in your hand. And if you'd have normal someone like just a le level four like Joko, but even though Joko is not in this version of the deck, you'd be able to do the combo. It's just that I don't believe anybody's going to sit there and watch Deng Long go through. That's why I'm not basing the combo on if it goes through. I'm basing it off if it doesn't go through. If they imperm it and I don't get the add, you can always use Deng Long's effect to change its level. It's a cost to send from deck. To change this level so you can still send but your level won't change then synchro so that's it so i'm going to synchro now in the other direction my apologies and i'm going to get my ignisto notice where i summon it now we're going to get Deng long effect it left the field so i get a special summon from my deck an x copy of this however unfortunately as i mentioned i don't actually have the next copy as yet I'm going to have that tomorrow. So I'm summoning it here. So I'll just replace it with this one so you know, understand. And now I can use Ignisto's effect to special from deck. I'm not actually going to discard a card here. Mostly because it doesn't really matter. However, just know that be careful of the zone you summon this into. Don't worry because I'm doing this on a blank board. I can always use any side of the field. So if I made the mistake of summoning it here, I can always just use this side of the field. If I summon it here by accident, I can link off and summon it over here. But the ideal position is to work on your left. 
to your right. So now it's time to use her effect. We're going to add. It's time to pendulum someone. We're not even going to pendulum someone much. It's just going to be back these two. Yep, that's it. So if they walk the neighbor with me, they're still going to look on an entire board. Oh, I didn't add the feel spell as yet. I declared that I was using it, but I didn't actually add. So you'd always be able to have a card to pitch in your hand because you'd have two more cards. By the way, you can actually pitch this as well. If you have any pendulum monster in your hand, which is mandatory because I'm playing a deck of 37 pendulum monsters and three spell art traps that are going to be searched for. So you'll always have a monster in hand. The Yang Zing doesn't matter. You can pitch it. Doesn't change anything, but you're going to have to have a pendulum monster in hand. So from here, it was pendulum someone effect at counter trap. And from here, I'm going to synchro with these two. So if your opponent didn't actually do anything here, they're in a lot of trouble. Because I'm someone in arms now. And I already have Light on Earth in Grave to banish. So they can't drop the neighbor. If they try it, I'm going to negate it and destroy it and still the full combo. Now it's the time to go off like a madman. Yamarashi effect. This is always treated as a magic spectral. I can exceed. Use the effect. Summon back. An effect special from deck. Doesn't matter what you summon. Literally doesn't matter. Just ensure that you always keep one luster in deck. Now, I've used this effect already. So I'm going to get rid of both of them. Princess. Princess effect reborn. I'll link off with these two first. And now I'll use Ignisto's effect, a special from deck. Doesn't matter what I summon. You can literally summon anything, it doesn't matter. Just always keep one of this in the deck. From here, link off. Zelantis, Zelantis effect. Everybody's banished. And these two here. I'm going to link off with both of them immediately. And we're going to get Musicil. You must summon Musicil to point to Gen X at all times. If you mess up on that part, it's going to cost you. Effect, I've used up majority of the fire. I've only played one water. And remember, I'm not even playing the fusion. So you can easily just dispose of it. You will not be using it for the remainder of the duel. I'm going to swap out this for the actual card because it's slightly annoying to look at it. And from here, activate Sky Iris. As per promise, I'm not actually using the chronograph any at all, so I'm popping it. And I'm going to add the first copy of Revolution. We'll be activating it, using the effect, popping it itself. Special summon back Ignisto in this zone. Astrograph summons itself and add the second copy. I'll now use Ignisto's effect. Special summon anyone from your deck. Uh, let me summon the fire this time. And I'm going to link off. You're going to summon Exceed. An exceed effect will add. In this position, I'm going to add back my astrograph. However, be careful. You will get back both the astrograph and the revolution that you already use because I'm going to use this effect to add. But remember, you have to trade odd for even or even for odd. So that's what I said earlier. As long as you have an X monster in hand, which should be 100% of the time, you could have pitched this because. At random, if I grabbed something, I would be able to trade this in for Astrograph. So this would have added this, and this would have traded in this for Astrograph. So it actually doesn't matter if you kept this in your hand. You could have always done it with any monster in your deck, which should be 100% of the time, because you're in the next complete part of your deck is monsters. The only spell left in your deck is this. Cool, so we're in a great understanding with each other now. Next on up, activate. 
I'll use her effect, Reborn. I'll prefer to get back Yamarashi. Because it's going to be real hard to get back from Grave after this point. And now I can use effect. Bring back Ignisto. Astrograph effect. I don't know why my math's doing that. And I'll add the third add the final copy. Link off with all of these to go into firewall. Because this is firewall now, I can send with both of these to add. And at this point I'm going to add this is mandatory to add and add this. This one is free. So just because the combo facilitates you to be able to get the free two add back, you add these. Now I'll use the effect of firewall, get them back to my hand. So my hand is increased by five. And that's the next thing why I prefer this over, uh, my apologies, Phantasmo, because it doesn't pressure your hand. Now from at this point, I haven't used the new Ignisto's effect yet, so I'm going to use the effect. Um, I could just straight up summon the fire, or I can just summon the dragon now, because I'm going into spheres. So what you can do is use this effect, pop this, shuffle into your deck back. And you have to do that now. Once you've used this effect, always get rid of the scale, so you can actually extend further. So I'll link off with both of these now. Spheres. I'll now activate and activate. I'm going to actually end up doing something really weird that persons aren't accustomed to. So I'm going to use effect, popping itself. And I'm getting back the Ignisto from Grave. And I'm going to use effect to special summon from deck dissolver. I'm going to activate effect fusion someone with this. By the way, well it's not it's not gonna matter. I don't need to bring that down. I get the fusion out. But you notice that the Ignisto I can't summon anything from the deck because I've used all zones. So the Genex actually blocks you from using your complete zones. So what I'm actually going to do to summon my trigate is use these three and firewall effect to reborn. So singularity brings back OG firewall, and now I have the one extra. Use effect, pop, and bring him back. So vortex is back on the field, and this is the end board. You've used the complete cards. If I actually kept in what's it face? I don't even remember what the card name is right now. Um, other is Phantasma. I would have one more in my hand, but really and truly, if this doesn't win the deal, I don't really think that's going to help you. And if some persons aren't aware, like where did I put it? It was literally just beside me. Oh, see, here it is. This can get you to certain gems in terms of it can summon and send the board and then just punch if your opponent has a little bit of life points left. So it can save you a little bit. But it's highly unlikely that it will. But it can come back. Apart from that, how much interruptions? Now we have actually four Omni Negates. So this is actually an improvement since the ban list. Let me count them off. On the first attempt of your opponent doing something, negate with Trigate. There's someone or play anything, especially if it's like a spell card that's a hard one per turn. Trivial Trigate using spheres. And then you will use effect to reborn. Trigate is not a hard one per turn. So once you've seen him back, he's refreshed. So I'm going to negate again. So that's two Omni Negates gone through and the spheres bounce back one. So that's three interruptions. Then this is an Omni Negate and this is an Omni Negate. That's four. This bounce is back one, this bounce is back three. That's six. And of course, we have in the graveyard Princess and Amblo Whale, but we don't have a fire on board. 
So most likely you'll end up using this and not be using Princess. And after all of that, and this is going to be recurred on, this is going to be a mad lad. And I'm going to go through and show you. We have, let's do it like Captain Planet style, Earth. Fire, wind, water, heart, go planet. <laughs> so we have everything. And don't worry about banishing Ignisto. Even though, like, I'm more likely going to banish this than Ignisto, to be very honest. Like, he has no comeback in this. <laughs> well, Ignisto does, because that's Promethean Princess at the end of the day. And you can get them back. You have every element in your grave. I don't think you're going to be banishing more than two, to be very honest with you. But, you have Dark and Fire, which is the most important. Earth behind that, you should be able to win with this. So, really and truly, this actually has six negates on him, but I'm only really counting like one. So, in total, you have, what, nine negates? Or ten, if you count this twice. And that's the end board. To me, it's an extremely savage board and an insane upgrade to what it was previously. You'd wonder if the banish really hit us. And it's not really like it's an easy board to get over. Even if they kaiju or something, at the end of the day, it's entry with itself. Someone banish like the... <laughs> right though, they, they, your opponent they really have crap going on for them. This should be able to win a duel. As in, it's literally four Omni Negates and this is banishing them banish <laughs> so i don't really think you can lose this one to be purely honest with you the combo to me is pretty solid and pretty good but i'd love your guys feedback and tell me how the combo was for you for me the combo is insane uh really and truly this was not the combo i intended to show everyone but there are some fine tunings that you can do I've actually been in the lab and I've discovered a way that we can actually summon this really pretty early out. But I just didn't really want to combo that way because we, would, we wouldn't be able to combo like how I did. It actually matters for your link monsters to be on the field to summon back to the zones. If you're only going to build your board from like one monster, it's going to be extremely difficult. So it's important that they hit me either with the Nibiru right on the Pendulum Summon so I can build back the entire board. You do build a board of 8 interruptions if you get hit with the Nibiru. Just putting that out there. Second of all, while this is on the board, you can't Nibiru. So if they're not, if they don't really know what you do, if they don't watch this deck profile because I'm the only one doing this, they're going to be caught off guard. You're going to have one and two persons say, hmm, he has the potential to do that. Let me just, <laughs> yeah, but most persons won't know what you're doing until it's way too late. The deck profile does work. The combo does work. It's just about the consistency of the combo. You're not always going to find it. Really and truly, I want to reduce the deck count to 40 cards flat. There are flaws in it. Not like, I'm telling you that certain gaps cannot be bridged. In terms of, hey, I do play Chronograph. And Chronograph actually does a lot. Not only he's a level 6, meaning he's a perfect match for this. He also searches for this in the process. So you can combo up that way, but there is no search spells for any of these cards. You just have to hard draw them. So that's the negativity, in my opinion. But it's pretty solid. It's pretty good. At the end of the day, you still have to look down 10 interruptions. Like That's still more cards they start off with. Sorry, more than the amount of cards I start off with. And at the end of that, if they interrupted you, like if you negated even this with Ash, I didn't actually need a search, because any level 4 can do it. Quite frankly, you didn't even need the high scale, because I could actually just scale back this and still make the board. But always use your question first, just to know to your opponent know what you're doing to stop you do they know what to stop i am not going to disclose what they should stop i can't think of even two cards beating this combo line completely as we know no matter what we do if they have the neighbor plus the imperm you're going to lose it like there's no way to do that but at the best part of it is that you can force it out now 
so there's not much to worry about so that's it from me rate comment subscribe i'm out please have a great day